There's a famous hadith in, in Muslim Imam Ahmad and also in other books of hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ said that after every 100 years, Allah will send somebody to revive the ummah. Man yujaddidu hadha deen, to revive it. Reviving means it was asleep, he'll wake it up. He's going to remind the Muslims of something they have forgotten. So there's a hadith that says after every 100 years, somebody's going to come and revive the ummah. Our Shaykh said, you all know this hadith, don't you? He said, yes, yes, of course, we know the hadith, yes. So he said, what's the question that everybody has on his or her minds? So we said immediately, well, Shaykh is obvious. They add the question is, who is the reviver of our times? Isn't that the question, right? Who is this person? The Shaykh said, that's your mistake. Right there. That's your mistake. You've already accepted that someone else will get to the top. Why can't you make dua to Allah? Oh Allah, make me that reviver who's going to come at the end of every hundred years. Why have you accepted mediocrity? Surely somebody's going to be there. Why can't you aim for the top? And you know what? Even if you don't get there, because in the end there's only one person that will get there. Okay, so let's be realistic. Somebody will, by the way, right? Somebody will. Even if you don't get right to the very top and you become the all-time mujaddid of this century, guess what? When you made that your goal and you spent your life doing your best to benefit the ummah, by the time you die, even if you get, don't get all the way up there, you would have gone so high as the saying goes, aim for the stars, even if you get to the moon. And mashallah, you've made it, right? Aim for the stars, even if you get to the moon, even if you get way up there, alhamdulillah, you've accomplished a lot. And that's exactly what our ummah wants every one of us to do. Brothers and sisters, I want every one of us to think about a very simple question. What do I want to do with my life? What's my vision? What's my goal? And once you've answered that question, set the highest goal that you can imagine, that you can possibly, possibly even want, and then strive to achieve it. Because wallahi, not every failure is an ultimate failure. If you fail to not become the mujaddid, but you strove and you strove and you strove, then alhamdulillah, you have succeeded over millions, maybe even billions of the people of the ummah. And that is the ultimate goal. فَاسْتَبِقُوا الْخَيْرَاتِ سَابِقُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ We want to win the race. We want to be with those who are racing on the front lines.